Hey y'all. How's everybody doing on this lovely Monday? Make sure I've got everything straightened out and so you can see it. There we go, that should be good. I know it'll take a couple minutes for y'all to jump on, but that's okay. Thought I'd start just a few minutes early so that I wasn't late. Because <laughs> it seems like that's just the way it goes, isn't it? Never perfectly on time. Yeah, I'm either late or early, but never by more than a few minutes. We're gonna be doing a 12 by 12 layout today with these two photos of my oldest daughter's room. She just did a little bit of updating to her room, completely changed the color of the walls and uh, used some of her birthday money to buy a tapestry and new bedding. She wanted a big change for her room. And I thought, oh, it's a good thing to document. It's a good thing to document. My kids' rooms don't change a whole lot year to year, honestly. Um, they only sleep in them. They don't, re <laughs> they don't really play a whole, whole lot in their room. They spend a lot of their time out here in the living area or in the backyard. So their rooms just really aren't a huge focus, really. It's funny because when I was a kid, my room was my sanctuary and I was always hiding in my room love to read and that was just the quietest place to be but my kids are, are a bit more active they like to uh, run around and make a mess <laughs> to be honest <laughs> generally speaking they just like to make a mess so i have these pockets from maggie holmes one of the one of the older maggie holmes collections and I'd like to see if I can get one of these big ones on this layout. I don't know if it'll work, but I would like to see if I can get it on there. I think color-wise, they both work pretty well. Maybe if I kind of stack my photos kind of next to it, and then just did like some embellishing around, I think that would be pretty good. Might do a little picture in picture, have a, a smaller piece and then mount these on that. The black works pretty well too because she's got some black items in her room. So I haven't really decided which one I prefer. They're a very different look. Hey Laura, how are you doing this morning? It's not morning for you. <laughs> I know you're over in the UK. But and I know this will probably be a smaller live because a lot of folks are at work. It's a Monday. But I wanted to make sure to do at least three lives this summer during the day. And I'm hoping if we can get all of my kids into school in the fall, which is fingers crossed the plan, <laughs> then I'm going to be able to do some more daytime lives as well as my Friday night lives. Hey, Julie. 4 p.m. there. I wondered what time it was uh, in the UK. I am doing really well. We have, this whole week, my twins are at a day camp for special needs kids. And my oldest daughter is a counselor there for the week as well. So I have no one in my house at the moment, which is just so rare. <laughs> it's a very rare thing nowadays. I think this is a bit more teenagery, so I think that's the one I'm gonna go with. I pulled out some papers. We'll see what we use. I'm pretty flexible on <laughs> what I use. I thought this this kind of a tealy blue looked nice with all the teals that she's got in the background. Yes, it is so rare for me to have no one in the house <laughs> it is extremely rare <laughs> uh, 
ever since the whole pandemic thing, I've had a house full of people at all times. It's just been wild. Very strange for me because that's not usually the case. I think I want to mount the photos on this. So let's do that. Yes, I think so too. I think these bright gold colors really pop on that black and having this little bit of teal in the background will help tie in all the blues in the photos. This little bit of yellow is kind of a nod to these really cute little mushroom pillows she's got on her bed. She absolutely loves them. She's, she's in a very fairy phase at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and not like Disney's fairies, but more like uh, mythical fairies, you know, and uh, she's, she's a big fan of the idea of fairies. And apparently fairies like mushrooms. I did not know this. The things I learn having kids, all of my kids have had a kind of mythical phase that they just really liked mythology to some extent. And for my older son, actually both of my boys, both of my boys have gone through a Greek gods phase where they just had to learn everything about Greek mythology. Yes, this is Charlie's room. And uh, she decided to do a bit of a refresh on her room, which is fine. We don't normally do a whole lot as far as decorating in their rooms because they're, they're never in them, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, my oldest son he has his video games upstairs, so he plays that up there. But otherwise, they're usually downstairs. Uh, they play down here. The computer is down here. TV's down here. So... For the most part, they hang out downstairs, and so we don't really put a lot of emphasis on their room. Because they aren't there. <laughs> They're not in their room. <laughs> They're not in their rooms very often, so I figured if they wanted to change something, if it was important to them to change something, then we would, but they haven't really asked. I'm going to put journaling in here. I want to talk a lot about the things that Charlie has added to her room. Good morning, Jennifer. Because she has very specific taste and it doesn't all quite go together. But you know what? I don't really care. I'm not one of those parents that's going to tell their kid how they have to decorate their room. I know some parents really worry about things looking a certain way or not having anything too crazy. Now the back of this is keys. Is this too much? <laughs> is that too graphic for these? I mean, it really does make the photos pop. So there's that. And it's very busy, but I wasn't planning on embellishing it heavily anyway. Wondering if I should bring in, I've got some white cardstock pre-cut from frames. Maybe if we put some white where the photos are going to be. Hmm. Kind of like that, actually. But I feel like it needs a pop of color just behind the photos. Let's see what I've got. I don't want to go all black and white on this. <laughs> I didn't intend to go that black and white. Uh, maybe look in the paper pad. Well, that's pretty. But florals are not really Charlie's thing. This might be interesting. Pop a bit of navy back there. That's a possibility. Yes. 
sandy. The keys look really cool. I think it, it really ties in this black quite nicely. I'm not sure about the navy yet, but I want to bring in some pop of blue, I think, or green. It's not a lot of paper in this one. Luckily, I have two because of course I do. This uh, Moonstruck collection was one that I was a little late to the party with. I did not get it when it originally came out. This might work. Is that a little bit too teal? Mm, maybe a pop of red? Let's try this. Because there is red. She is, <laughs> she picked red sheets <laughs> and a green comforter and then a blue teal tapestry and it, it's quite a look it's it's a look she's thrilled with so I'm fine <laughs> as long as she's happy with it I'm happy with it I don't have to go I don't even have to see it so I don't really care how she decorates her room uh, her room is upstairs in our house so doesn't really matter to me so we could do that red, which I think works quite nicely. I'm not seeing anything else that really stands out to me. Because you could do the blue, but it's a bit more greeny blue. And I think it clashes a little with this green. And I don't want to go too dark because I've got a lot of dark on here already. Don't want to do pink. There's no pink in her room. She's not actually a fan of pink, so. Yeah, it's probably too pink. The red works. Okay, let's go for the red then. I did like the navy as well, but it's very dark. And I've already got this nice dark pocket here and too much dark. And we're going to lose cohesiveness with our photos, I think. I'm just going to go ahead and start taping everything down before we change our minds because <laughs> that's how that works. It's how I keep from spending multiple hours on a layout. So I just start taping stuff down. I'm like, oh, that looks good. Great. Start taping it down. That way you can't change your mind. <laughs> Yes, I think when you have a really strong pattern in the background, sometimes it can help to do the picture in picture technique where you just make it a thick border instead of the entire background and having a, a smaller area to work in uh, sometimes can be really helpful with using busy patterns. Yeah, her room, yeah, as long as she keeps it clean, I don't really care what she has in there. Yeah, we had to map the pictures, I agree. They needed a little, little something, a little something, a little bit of vellum behind there, helps them pop a little bit, for sure. The keys are cool. I'm really excited to use this paper. I have two of this paper and I'm hoping to use one side as the keys and one side as the blue so that it, you know, you're getting both sides of the paper used, which is always good. Should definitely tape this down first. Now, if I had black cardstock <laughs> at the moment, I probably would do a second mat underneath of this white to kind of give it more of a framed look, but I am all out of black cardstock at the moment. I think I might have gray. Maybe I'll try it with the gray because I think the white isn't exactly the same white as the background of this paper. It's This paper is kind of creamy. And so I think if I have gray, which I might, I'm gonna try that and see how that looks to give a bit of a little bit of definition to the white, a little separation. 
See what I'm saying? Now if I had black, I would go with black because black is a strong color I'm already including in the layout, but I don't. <laughs> so I think we're gonna go for gray. Just give it a nice gray outline. We'll bring in some more color with our embellishments, don't worry. It's not gonna be all black and white. But I knew with photos as colorful as these, because these are super bright, bold, colorful photos, I knew I was gonna have to keep my color palette fairly simple so that I wasn't competing with the photos. Yeah, I'm just gonna add a nice thin border. And I'm not gonna gut this back paper because like I said, I have two of it and it's very old. So I would very much like to get it used. We'll just put a thin little mat on this white. So this is left over, this white is left over from a white border that I gutted uh, for another layout. Now I have no problem <laughs> with uh, keeping a full piece of gray back here because I don't use gray very often and I have a lot of it in my stash. So don't worry about that too much, but white card stock I use often. And it's, it's always something I run low on. So I consider it more of a premium <laughs> and I do gut it if I can. Plus I map my photos on white card stock, so they get used. Yes, I think the gray looks good too. It gives it a nice kind of a, a shadow effect, which makes it feel a little bit more 3D. There we go. And I rarely pop into these lives with a plan. <laughs> I'll usually grab something that I think, oh, I wanna use that. Let's, let's see if we can get that on the layout, which for today was the pocket. And then find some photos that I think work with it and uh, just go from there. I try not to overthink it because I find that if I am overthinking a layout, it takes way too long to get done and I get bored. I, <laughs> that's the short and long of it. I get bored and I don't particularly like being bored. So yeah, I avoid that. About there's fine. I got my photos. See how much space I need. Just start push. Oh, I didn't pull the tape off. Okay. Just start pushing everything down and then I'll just add a title, some minor embellishing. We'll keep it pretty simple, I think, overall. Now I had someone ask me about 12 by 12 versus 9 by 12 today. And I have explained quite often that I do 9 by 12 for my twins layouts because they're tiny little people and they have low muscle tone, which makes it very difficult for them to get into their albums if they were 12 by 12. And we've known they were gonna be kind of small from when they were born because they were, they were twins, so they were on the small side anyway. So these are very crooked, that's okay, because what's happening in these photos is a lot of busyness, a lot of color, and while I do wish it was a little bit more straight, I don't think it's gonna matter a whole lot. Well, since I've gone this far, oh, that tape. Behave, tape, just behave. But I do want it slightly off on an angle just because it's a little bit more interesting that way. There we go, that's a bit better. So that I need a title. So for my title, I haven't used any of the, where are they? Any of my thickers yet. I haven't even touched them. So we've got a nice big black hello. Together, so beautiful, amazing. We could bring in a pop of yellow 
with amazing. Not feeling the navy. So it can go back. See if we can get some of these on here. At least one would be nice. The pocket is gorgeous. I'm I was really excited about this. I'm hoping that I have something, I don't know, floral or or maybe even just a heart to put in the center here just to dress it up a little bit. Might be fun. So let's see, we could do today. I don't want to cover up too much of the room. So maybe off to the side here. Could do, the teal doesn't match quite as well. I like the idea of the hello, but it takes up a lot of space. The today fits quite nicely which would be a nice choice just simply because it's a change, right? So it's a change in her room. It reflects what it looks like today. Amazing is a good choice as well because it sits quite nicely here at the bottom. But as far, I think I like today better. I think I like the presence of the today a little bit better just there. Yep, just there. Sweet dreams. Yeah, problem is that that brings in um, a different color of teal that's not in the photo. And I've already brought in yellow here behind the photo, so I definitely wanna have another hit of yellow. So we're gonna use today, but we could put a smaller title underneath something additional. We'll keep those out because we might grab some of these hearts later on. Let's see what I've got for embellishments. Oh, some washi stuck. Could have grabbed my whole embellishment tray, but I didn't. These little butterflies are cute though, and they're the right teal they're a darker teal which is what's in the background so we'll call those maybes I like that rub on but I don't really have anywhere to put it I'm looking at this gold it's pretty but again I don't think I really have anywhere for it to go there's just that one teal butterfly too this might be nice though I've got Celebrate, imagine, and happy, which might look kind of cool under the title. It's a bit more pink, but I do think I could make it work. We've got black and white butterflies here. Could pop this little guy back there, bring in another bit of teal. I think that'll work. I'd love to get these rub-ons used up, you know? Yeah. I love the amazing, I think it would have worked, but I also think that it, it just didn't have the presence that we needed on the layout. I think what I'm gonna do is just tuck this one just here, or maybe up here. I'm trying to think about where I'd wanna put clusters. So this would make an excellent background for a cluster, so I may put it up there, and then possibly squeeze this guy down here and then I think I'm gonna put these three words underneath of my title, like this. And that's gonna help us, help guide us into adding embellishments that tie in. So I'll put those aside, because that's what we've picked. May bring them back to add some gold, we'll see. But these pop off pretty easily, so that was, they were great to work with. Yes, yeah, celebrating her new decor is absolutely what we're going for. When this one says celebrate, imagine, and happy, and I think that's just a perfect combination of words to describe how she is feeling about her new room. So I'm glad that makes sense 
<laughs> you too. It made sense in my head, that was for sure. But these, these, I was really impressed at how easily these came off. Uh, they don't take a ton of rubbing, which was nice because I've had some, I think they were from Pink Paisley and oh man, <laughs> they were a bugger to get off. Uh, you had to really, really lean into it and just rub for days to get them off. And some of them just didn't want to come off, so that was fun. But these ones, as long as you press down pretty well, they've been coming off fairly easily. But I mean, I'm always really careful pulling them up to just kind of test, you know, did we get all of it before I pull it completely off? See? Pretty quick and easy. So let's see, should this butterfly go on this side? I think it looks better here. We're gonna have the journaling inside, so I'll probably do a little butterfly trail underneath of the today just to add a little bit of fun, kind of finish off this section. I like bringing in more of this kind of a bluey turquoise color. It's funny because the little antennas, <laughs> I always cut the antennas off of my butterflies when I'm fussy cutting them because they're just too tiny to really fussy cut well and on top of that, I don't love the way they look. <laughs> They're a little too bug-like, so I generally leave them off, but this guy's already got them on there. I'm not gonna remove his antenna just because they look weird to my head. Come on, release, release. And we have a butterfly. Excellent, okay. And then we'll have one more up here, I think. I think I'll probably do a small cluster here at the center. Could also do it on this side. Let's do it on this side. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I want it over here. Yes, that garland rub-on looked so cool on that last layout that I did. If you missed it, that was the washi, Wild About Washi. And I used one of the larger, it looks kind of like this one, but it's a bit smaller. And those big designs can be super tricky to use, but I find if you make them the under base, like, like this one's gonna be the base behind which I'm gonna add more things. You can use those larger designs a little bit easier. Like I said, I am really shocked these still work because these are old, <laughs> very old rub-ons. I'm trying to remember what collection they're from. I wanna say All the Good Things, which is several years ago. Probably 2017, maybe 2018, something like that. And rub ons don't normally last very long in your stash. It's kind of one of those things that when you get them in, you really should go ahead and, and use them right away. Okay, that one did not work quite as well, but I'm able to smooth it down and sort it out. Not sure I rubbed that one long enough, but yeah, no. Luckily it's in the back. Like I said, behind the embellishments. So this Dear Lizzie pack was from a, I kind of like, I don't know why, but I kind of like the idea of using this because <laughs> it's fairy like, right? But it's pretty big. Is it just me or is all of the collections lately having enormous embellishments in it? This is an older one actually, but 
a lot of the newer ones are looking quite large recently and I'm not not really a fan of the giant embellishments not a fan could do this with maybe a floral behind it I think I want a longer one though remember that one time hmm maybe maybe this one's very pink yeah I don't have navy anywhere else we'll put it there for now but I don't know if it's gonna stay I've got those florals here from cheeky studio that I could use or I could rub off one of these florals yeah onto some white cardstock and do a quick fussy cut yeah smaller embellishments are always easier to use because you can cluster them together and make your own sort of embellishment areas but I also know that the trend for American crafts lately has been to do uh, larger embellishments because it looks like the pack is full even though you're actually getting fewer embellishments so number of embellishments goes down but the pack still looks bursting because it has giant embellishments in it Uh, Coco Vanilla should have another line this year. I expect it'll be later in the year though, probably like October, November. Uh, I don't know what it is. Like we on the design team only see them about a week before you guys see them. So we really don't know. <laughs> but I am expecting to see probably one more this year at least. And uh, if, if we get more than that, great. But for sure, I'm expecting to see one more. Uh, these days should be coming out in July. So we should get able to get our hands on that one pretty soon, a few weeks. And as soon as I get it in, I'll uh, unbox it in a video for you guys so you can see it almost in real life <laughs> because looking at the pictures which are uh, digital representations of the papers is sometimes a little bit different than looking at them uh, on video where you can actually see how the color tones work together and you can see how big the embellishments are and I think that really helps because sometimes on the, the digital interpretations you can't always tell is this a big flower? Is this a small flower? Like what, what am I, what, what am I looking at? <laughs> yes, the splash of colors is definitely what we're going for. It's why we went with a very neutral base because I want to keep the color in close to my photos. I don't know if this is going to stay. There's no brown on here and that cork is definitely brown. Okay, so half of this flower is rubbing on with no problems. The other half is kind of, I'm unsure of. Nope, it went on perfectly cleanly. Hmm. Go figure. Go figure. I don't love fussy cutting on lives, but <laughs> I really like this bold flower here. And I'm just going to leave a very, very thin white outline when I'm fussy cutting because I don't like the look of a bold white outline but these are pretty delicate flowers and so I'd rather have a thin white outline than to accidentally cut inside of them if that makes sense. I think that 
there are some people who find large embellishments easy because you can just do, like with this pocket, tuck a large piece behind some photos and you're done. You know, you just have little sprinkly bits and you're done. You don't really have to create clusters with large embellishments. You can just use them as their own and they work really well for card fronts. If you're designing a card, having large embellishments actually works really well because it helps you create your focal image a little bit easier. But for scrapbooking, I definitely prefer smaller embellishments and I prefer to create my own clusters. I don't mind having some large embellishments in it, but I don't want all of them to be large. I think there needs to be a mix. So this cluster here has some really pretty pinks and yellows that I think will add a nice little pop to this corner cluster. Not sure if that's going on. I just sort of stuck it over there to see if I could make it work. I really like the way that sort of climbs up the, the photo there. And then I've got a little pop of teal behind it, which helps bring in our teal again. Now it's not the same shade of yellow as our title, but it has multiple shades of yellow in the flower. And the, like I was showing you, the little pillows here have orange and yellow and green and uh, a couple shades of red. So I don't mind these little pink flowers coming along for the ride. They'll be fine. It'll be fine. So what are y'all doing today? Are you finishing up work? Or do you have the day to yourself like I do? <laughs> Which is, like I said, very rare lately. Since the whole stay at home thing started, I have had at least my husband and a couple of kids home all day, every day. And that has been a very weird, not bad, but a weird adjustment for me because normally I would just have Joseph who I homeschool and all of a sudden having a lot more than Joseph because <laughs> he's fairly quiet. He's a very quiet kid. And when he's done with his homeschool work, he'll go quietly entertain himself, uh, reading, watching a movie, something like that. Uh, but he always puts headphones on and is fairly quiet. But my oldest son, he's never learned how to be quiet. <laughs> he's, he's just not capable of being quiet. And he always has headphones in as well and he can't hear himself making all of the noise that he makes. Shaking cups, putting things down, poor dude. He's just <laughs> completely oblivious to how loud that he is. Oh man, we, we discovered that on a, the last daytime live as he was decided to make himself lunch while I was on the live and he couldn't hear me telling him, calm down. And he kept making tons of noise is what it is, I suppose. Life with teenagers, right? That's true. If you're if you're home if you're at home and self employed, yeah, your hours are your choice, aren't they? That's nice. I have been I figured out the other day that I have been home for thirteen years. That two thousand eight was when I quit my job and I was a secretary at the time. That's really the only work that I've done is as a secretary or an accountant's assistant. And I don't love that work. It's just something I'm qualified to do and I'm able to get a job easily doing, but certainly not something that I really enjoy. I think that as a teenager, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I really enjoyed art and writing and probably should have pursued writing, but I didn't. I got married right out of high school. I did go to college. I went to college for teaching actually. And 
and didn't quite finish. I had one semester left when I got pregnant with the twins. And it's been <laughs> chaos since then. <laughs> that was a tough pregnancy, let me tell you. All right, so we've got our floral here. I think that gives us a nice, nice burst of color with that little teal peeking out behind. I like that a lot. And then there's these little floral, these little leaf things that I can use as scattering pieces behind my floral and maybe even around my title just to help give it the same look as that floral. So I've got these little leaves and a couple little flowers we could kind of just put around the title. Can I see myself going back into the workforce or staying at home? I will probably stay at home largely because daycare, even just after school daycare for the number of kids we have is incredibly expensive. And summer times alone, the cost of full-time care or camps or whatever for my for five kids even just for the summer is insanely expensive it's incredibly expensive and so just the summer alone it wouldn't be worth it for me to go back and get an office job now if i had finished my degree and was going back to a professional job then yes it would be worth doing uh, financially but because I didn't finish and it's been so long since I went to school, I have considered going back to finish my degree. But it would essentially mean I would have to repeat a lot of the classes I've already taken because in order to count for the degree, you have to take them in a certain period of time. And it's been longer than that period of time currently. But I would prefer to stay at home. I prefer to continue with YouTube and possibly get back to writing. I have a series of short stories, poems, and I'm working on a never ending novel that has turned into a trilogy, even though I haven't finished the first one. So it's, it's, it's been an exploration, we'll say. And I don't know if I'll ever get that published, but it is my goal to get it published. So we shall see. There we go. So now we've got some little pieces to sprinkle about. Like I said, we will keep this fairly simple, I think, just because it doesn't really need a lot. We've got some busy photos. We've got a lot of black and white contrast. Keeping the embellishing fairly simple is probably best. Got these cute little hearts though that I think I would like to pop just back behind my floral here. And there's another one that has that crazy green from my daughter's bedspread. I was really shocked she picked that color because nothing else in her room is that color. But hey, you know what? We're going to go with it. That'll bring some of that green elsewhere on the layout. So I like that. I like where it's going. I like where it's going. So let's start taping things down before I change my mind. Absolutely. And being able to do YouTube for me has been an excellent, not escape so much as it's just something that I can focus on for myself which I think is really important when you stay at home. I think it's really important to have your own project or your own focus other than your kids that you can take some time to do because yes, your children are important, but so is your mental health. <laughs> and for me, scrapbooking has always been a bit of an outlet to release all of the stress, release all of the worries for the day. And yes, I'm using an anchor 
behind my photos or behind my floral. Look at that. You just see that little pop of gold. Oh, love that. <clears throat> but yes, it's it's very, very good for you to have just a little bit of an escape, just a little bit of a, another focus that's not anything to do with your kids. My kids don't scrapbook. Uh, they're welcome to if they'd like, but for the most part, they're not interested. <laughs> Charlie does occasionally, but uh, she really prefers to paint. And so I, ha I always have painting supplies. Always have painting supplies at the ready for any of my kids that want to dive in. The twins do a lot of watercolor painting, for example, and I just have that set up in my office as well. So I can keep an eye on them. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, like you're saying, when, when your kids grow up and they, and they do eventually move out, if you don't have something else to do, you're gonna be bored out of your mind and may even get a little depressed. But if you have another hobby of your own to focus on, I think it's important for both parents to have a hobby that is their own. I mean, it's cool if you do stuff together, but I also think it's important to have something to do on your own that's just yours because everybody needs a little break <laughs> from their significant other sometimes. Now, I personally really enjoy my husband's company, but <clears throat> he's an introvert. He needs a break from me. <laughs> And that's how it really goes. And sometimes that's okay. That's okay. He's a he's very much an introvert. Oh look, I have dream and a very small maybe I could tuck that there. What do we think? What do we think? Dream. I've also got love which might be better bit smaller. Draws a little less attention to itself, but it helps bring some black to the side, which is nice. <clears throat> All right, do I need any of this stuff? Just start putting it away while I flip through it. Don't think so. This guy's standing out <laughs> a lot on the layouts. I'm trying to decide if I should replace him with another color. Didn't end up using any of those and that's fine. Love is good too. You like the word dream? I think dream works really well for the fact that it's a bedroom. <clears throat> So put that there. Which one do you think fits better in that little spot though? Let me know what you think while I get these cleared up. I do have, instead of this green, we could go with a teal because I do have a teal one as well. Yeah, that doesn't stand out quite so much. Those, that green comforter, man, it's, this is not a preferred shade of green for me. Not, not really a fan of that shade of green, to be honest. All right, I do have some little hearts here I could pop in. There's a yellow one that we could add. I don't know why, but I really like the idea of bringing in yellow to this layout. <clears throat> and that's pretty close to the pink that's there, but I want it. <clears throat> hmm, I actually kind of like that better. So maybe we'll just use the one. How did that get moved? There we go. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that better. I feel like this guy should be on here somewhere, but I 
don't know where he should, oh, you know where he should live? He should live right here. He should be my pull tab for the notes, for the journaling, the notes, for the journaling. <laughs> uh, interesting choice of words there, Laura. Oh man, tired, so tired today. The brain is not fully functional this morning. Maybe one down there. I don't know, it doesn't look right. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't look right. Okay, did we sign, decide on dream or love? Hey Deepa, love fits better with the word today. Yep, that makes sense. Am I still frozen or can you hear me? You should be able to hear me now. Yeah, so I'm gonna add this I'm back. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, somebody called my phone and for some reason it just completely freezes up YouTube at the same time, which I find incredibly frustrating, but oh uh, well. We fixed it. We're almost done. We just gotta add the Scattering and splattering. We're pretty much done. Like I said, we're gonna keep this one fairly simple because my photos are wild. <laughs> They're hit wild and crazy. There's a lot going on. There we go. Pop my. That'll help me pull my journaling out. Up there. I'll put the love word just nestled right in there yep and i like how that looks so just keeping it really simple now i have just a little bit of gold on this page here and i want to use my nuvo drops but i feel like it needs a little bit more gold i also have these might could tuck at least one into my floral cluster. Maybe put one over here. I don't know, that feels like a bit much. That one will probably have to do. I need some more gold though. Definitely need more gold. So where are those? Here they are. What I love is when the companies put these little uh, sprinkly bits on the rub-ons. Those are brilliant. If I could get a whole thing of rub-ons that was just sprinkly bits, I would be so happy. <laughs> I would be so happy. <laughs> uh, should I put this here? That looks kind of cool. Kind of fills that spot these random leafy bits hanging out over here having a good time so just a couple more rub-ons then we'll do our splattering and nuvo and we shall be done I have to leave at 11 15 to go pick up my kiddo so this will work just fine well we should be right on time but I really enjoy daytime lives. I'm, I'm not as tired. <laughs> Sometimes the nighttime lives, I'm half asleep. <laughs> if it's been a wild day. <laughs> so these, these daytime lives have been a lot of fun. And if I can get my kids all back in school this year, which is the plan, then I'll be able to pop on daytime lives probably once or twice a month which I would really like to do because I enjoy them quite a lot. Since I'm home anyway. So I've got one there. Do a bit of gold over here to this cluster. Maybe another one down here. But yeah, should be an interesting week. My my husband is out of town. 
with my boys and they're camping. They're at a Boy Scout camp for the week. And so what's the first thing that happens after they left? Absolutely. <laughs> You're right, Lord. That's why I like lives too, is I get to hear back from you guys right away. Instead of you write a message and maybe a couple hours later I get it. <laughs> it's nice being able to have an immediate response. So right after he left, literally the day he left, our microwave broke. I was like, great, great. <laughs> it's not like, you know, I need that or anything. And it's crazy because our microwave's not even that old. My husband was like, what? What do you mean it already broke? We haven't even had it that long. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, right. I have some of these too. I have these. These, I don't know where these uh, enamel dots came from, but they're terrible. <laughs> they have no stick at all. I have to glue them down. Like the stick just came right off. I hope it's still under warranty because it's not that old. I don't even think it's two years old. So I'm hoping it's under warranty, but I feel like we just replaced it. And it's making me wonder if we have a, a circuit issue. If in eight years we've gone through two microwaves, that seems excessive. Is that not excessive? two microwaves in eight years I mean maybe not but it feels excessive <laughs> it certainly feels like more than it should be I'll put one just there maybe one more over here I've been trying to use these up because they're just awful <laughs> They're really bad. The, the fact that the enamel dot doesn't have any stick left makes me think I've probably had them quite a while, we'll say. Quite, quite a while. So I've been slowly trying to use them. Look at that, it just flies right off. Only six left. I'm determined to get those finished off. All right, now we can add a bit more gold. Now that we've tied everything in. Your dad still has the microwave and cooker your mom bought when she passed in 2007, yet in your office, you're on your second microwave in six years. I think you're right. Yes, this is for my June stash kit. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can get a, um, what's it called? A craft room tour done this month. So. We'll see what we can do. I am trying. <laughs> I want so badly to put these gold spots in those holes, but I know that I can't because this paper's behind it and it's just gonna get on the paper. <laughs> but I want so badly to do it. <laughs> My brain knows better, but it, uh, so I'm gonna put them in between like that instead. That looks all right. I'm okay with it. There we go. Just a few little nouveau dots there, and then I'll do a little trail for my butterfly that kind of does one of these little loop de loop. adds a little bit of movement and whimsy to the page and we'll have it stop right at that flower. Whoops. Oh, that was fun. I just tried to put the top on my Nuvo and the whole thing came out. <laughs> That's new. <laughs> I have had this bottle for about two or three years and I use it constantly. This is the one you guys see every layout and it's <laughs> the bottle is falling apart before I use up all the Nuvo. <laughs> B 
But yes, this is one of the Maggie Holmes pockets that I included in the stash kit. This is from the rub-ons. There's quite a few rub-ons on here. Because that was absolutely a prior or priority. Woo, words did not want to work just then. And I wanted to make sure I used up those. I want to use the whole pack of rub-ons in this kit for sure. Little bit of splatter along the bottom, just a little. And we'll call that done. So really simple layout, but when you have super busy photos with a lot of different colors in them, simple is usually best. It's usually the easiest way to go so that you don't overwhelm your photos. I also didn't want to cover up too much of my photos because it's what's in the, the details are filling the entire photo. So this will go in my oldest daughter's album. It is her new room. She has painted it periwinkle blue. And let me tell you the funny conversations <laughs> had with my husband to explain <laughs> what periwinkle blue was were absolutely hysterical. Just hysterical. He didn't have a clue. <laughs> what is periwinkle? Is it blue or purple? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a bit of both. There we go. So that one is done, I think. Will I add more to it? Maybe. I do occasionally, not super often, but I should check and see if there's anything. I always forget about this sticker sheet. Maybe we'll add this little tab up at the top. Tuck it behind the pocket a little bit. There we go. <laughs> I used it. <laughs> I always forget about that sticker sheet. I am so glad you guys came to join me today. It has been a lovely scrappy time and it was good for me with my husband being gone for the week. Just having this live really has already perked up my, my day a little bit already just because I get stressed. When he's not here, I get so stressed. It's just who I am as a person. <laughs> it's just, I get anxious when he's not here. And this has definitely helped. So I appreciate y'all joining me. And I should have a video up on Wednesday this week. And I'm trying very hard to get to a craft room tour. I'm working on it. I have to uh, finish cleaning my room first. <laughs> it's mostly clean. We're almost there. It's just a few bits and pieces I have piled. So once that's done, I will get that recorded sometime this week. I'm hoping to get it recorded and I'll get it out sometime this month. Yes, yes, they, they should have a brilliant time at the day camp. It's especially for special needs kids and uh, they've been before and had a great time. So I'm sure they'll enjoy it. But yeah, that's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed the live. If you have any questions or are watching on the replay, be sure to put them in the comments below. But that's it for me until next time.